All right, uh, Ubuntu.com download desktop. You just search for Ubuntu, look for a download area, it takes you here. And uh, you can pull down uh, either one of these to 32 64 bit. Make sure the computer you're using 64 bit is actually a 64 bit. Okay, um, uh, but for this purpose, uh, installing it on an old Dell uh, computer, uh, this uh, 2 gigs of RAM. Okay, it has RAM spelt out right there. So um, I think there's about 256 uh, megs of RAM. So uh, on the particular one I'm going to install this on, uh, along with uh, I think probably a 20 gig hard drive, just to show it can be installed on older, uh, lower requirements than uh, Windows 7 requires. So the idea is um, it's up to you which one you want to uh, install. I prefer uh, supports up through uh, April. Uh, 2017. Okay, uh, but um, these are the versions, the two versions here. Uh, so this is the la la latest version. Uh, I really find no difference in either one of them. All right, so uh, download either one you want. I'm going to go with 12.4 uh, uh, um, Lite uh, LTS. This is what it's called. So here we go. All right, this is a Dell 2400, an old guy. It's um, it's somewhere around 11 years old. I got a 20 gig hard drive slaved in there, and it needs a DVD drive to be uh, slaved in uh, because, of course, the Ubuntu 32-bit uh, uh, is on a DVD. Okay, I ran some diagnostics. That's the 32, 32 gig uh, drive uh, passed. Uh, the smart feature passed. And I ran the surface uh, the retest. And then uh, over here, uh, the processor passed everything. Okay, and then uh, over here, I uh, I added another memory chip. Uh, all the both these passed. I did it with one tw uh, two fifty six uh, megabyte chip, and man, this thing was slow. It never went through the full installation, I, and I, I let it run for a long time. And this is the processor. That's the BIOS state. So it's eleven years old. This is two thousand fourteen now. All right, and um, it's a Pentium 4 processor. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out the DVD. All right, um, that's my diagnostics software. I'm going to pop in that, and then uh, we're going to go through a restart. Uh, hit Control Alt Delete with my one one hand. Reach over there and hit Delete. Okay, I'm going to hit F12, a boot up, and that's uh, to get the, uh, for some reason this comes up says uh, press F1, which is fine. And then it's going to go through, I should get a purple screen, and that's it. See how long it takes with another 20, uh, 250 uh, megabytes chip in there, uh, double the RAM, and see if it runs any faster. I didn't even make the uh, video on another one because it just went so slow. That alone went faster. So it was almost instantaneous to get to this. So it's, uh, it's pro progressing along with the dots. I hear the uh, CD uh, DVD burner working. I um, can tell that stuff is being written. Give you an idea over here on time. Okay, I do need to leave for work uh, in about 10 minutes, but I want to show you the time there and how long it takes to get from this to the next screen. All right, the dots aren't moving anymore, and the fl screen did flash. Okay, and here's where we are at time right now. Okay, so only a minute went by. About I have, um, I now have a mouse. Let's see if the mouse moves. Yep, the mouse moves. I have the uh, the bar up on top just came up. That is so much faster than just with uh, two fifty six. Okay, I don't know what the three dots there in the middle are on, up on top, but we'll see what goes on next. Okay, right now, that's where the time is. I have about eight minutes before I have to leave for work. Let's we'll see how far we get. Now that came up so much faster than the other one. And let's see how fast this responds to my clicking. That was it actually pressed down. Last time it didn't uh, do anything. So we want to select what language you ha you want. 
okay and it's like that okay we're on wireless I am not going to download the updates while installing because I just want to get this installed and do the updates later on so uh, it uh, tells me how much free space I have I'm going to hit continue first of all when I hit that continue it took forever to get to the next screen here's where we are on time okay so now it should come up and see, see if I want to delete the uh, other, oh, it still sees Windows uh, XP Professional. But you can put it alongside if you want. I don't want to do that. I want to wipe the whole drive. Just clicking that. Clicking that with 256 me uh, megabytes of RAM took forever for it to actually uh, do that. Alright, so I'm going to click that. That is, that is extremely fast. Okay, so now this status bar did nothing for about six hours. So now look at that. It just zipped across with 512 uh, megabytes of RAM. There's our, uh, there's our uh, location. You want to select the location. I'm going to hit continue. It should come up and ask for keyboard layout and stuff like that. Here we go. Keyboard layout. Just hit the defaults. Continue. Okay, here's where we are with time right now. Okay, so now once my name, I'm going to put Bill in there. Because that is my name. It does want a password. Okay, I don't know what uh, I don't want to show you the password, so I'm going to type one in there. And this is where you uh, really need. Huh, it's not showing it anyway. It says it's really weak. I don't care. <laughs> with or with this, this is a test. Okay, passwords do not match. All right. I'm hitting backspace. There we go. Okay, and I got a green check next to that saying it passed. Okay, require, I want to log in automatically. I did check that box. Okay, I don't want to encrypt my folders and hit continue. And that's the uh, type of computer 2400 up there. Alright, so it's copying files. So this is so much better than with this 24, 256 uh, megabytes of RAM. So it's a 20, a 20 gig hard drive with 512 megabytes of RAM. Within five minutes, it's now installing. So much better than it was yesterday. So time for me to go to work. I'm going to let it continue doing the install. It's just copying files right now. When I come back from work, uh, it should be up and running. All right, just got home. It's 2.45 in the afternoon. Um, after a day of work and uh, it says installation complete I'm going to hit uh, restart and uh, let it go through this restart thing and we'll leave the CD in and hopefully it's going to boot to the CD drive I think I'm going to hit F12 just to force it to boot from the C drive instead I uh, just don't know what the boot sequence actually is on this so uh, when it comes back I'll show you what it looks like of course it's going to have to probably do the um, all the updates too all right, since I did not force the updates. Okay, I wanted to show you this. I caught it before it actually shut down. It's going to show you all this stuff there. Don't worry about the one that says fail. All right, don't worry about that at all. The CD drive did pop out, so I'm going to take that out. It forced the CD out. I'll put that back in. Uh, it's not saying anything about hit enter to continue. Okay, um, but I'm going to hit enter anyway. And that's what happened. So, so now it's going to go through and do the restart. Um, I need to run the setup utility and find out. So, let's see, one drive not found. So, uh, so it's uh, probably uh, saying that because I have the uh, CD, two CDs inside disconnected and uh, just the slave on top. So, I'm just going to force the F1. You shouldn't see that on yours unless you're doing what I'm doing. There's the screen. That's a red screen. It flashed, uh, so I'm very sure that uh, there's a bunch of updates. Now, uh, this is the uh, same version that's on my laptop that I did a video on. So it should look about the same. It has Ubuntu desktop there, it has all this. I still don't know what the up down arrow is. I don't have I, that, uh, that up down arrow right there. I think maybe I'll, I'll click on it and see what happens. Okay, enable network connection information. Okay. 
right, that's cool. Still has all this here on this side. Uh, up on top, it should have uh, different drop downs there. I need to come over here. It says software up to date. Uh, it's not. Okay, there's going to be uh, lots of updates that's going to be coming in. Alright, but that is how you install this. Uh, the flash is, I mean, the screen is not flashing, saying that, uh, like on my laptop, the video card wasn't set up. It looks like everything's uh, pretty good here. Um, system settings there, the software center. I should have a bunch of updates coming in here, and uh, I, I hear a lot of things happening. Hard drives uh, doing a lot of stuff, so I'm sure updates are coming in. So there's the desktop. Well, that's a Dell. Um, that's a Dell uh, Dimension uh, 2400 that indeed has a 20 gig hard drive and 512 uh, megs of RAM and is able to install um, Ubuntu 32-bit. Uh, uh, okay, so I hope you liked the video. I'm sure there's a lot of updates that has to come in. Updates are available. There it is. Um, uh, once again, it's very important to keep your password because it's going to ask you every time to install updates. There's going to be a lot of updates coming in. It should list a bunch of them in there. There they go. Okay, install updates, and it's going to ask for the password. And there it is. As promised. And over there it says uh, 67 updates. Alright, so as, uh, as I said uh, with my laptop, it's so important to know that password and keep it going. So over here, I uh, see the, but something I want to point out to you, see the arrows on both sides of that? That's the update manager. That's uh, That means that the update manager, and I started up there, is actually running. So whatever you have running, it's going to have two arrows on the side. So hope you, hopefully you like the video. Uh, it's just, um, rather than throwing your computer away, you can install the Ubuntu. Um, I have plenty of other videos uh, I, in uh, this uh, playlist, so uh, take a look at that. The videos, I'm not going to go through them all again. Uh, so um, uh, take a look at, there's going to be plenty to choose from. Okay, uh, subscribe if you want. Bye now.